back to do the review. I'm going to do a review for um, Housewives of Atlanta. Bravo think they slick, baby. <laughs> They're going to they gonna play this whole little storyline out for three tree episodes. All right, now. I, okay. So, anyway, we start off with Cynthia. She calling around to everybody. Nobody answering the phone. They are trying to make it seem like, you know, uh, you know, they trying to make it seem like nobody answering the phone for Cynthia. Come on now. Y'all, y'all tripping. So, uh, I forgot. I know Riley, they pan over to Candy and Riley's in school. She, she making friends. Um, I forgot. Uh, I, I forgot what everybody else was doing. But then finally, we get to Drew. Now, Drew has rejoined the show, y'all. She back. Not only is she back, she's going to hold a dinner so that everybody can come over. She said she's going to hold it Hollywood style. Baby, I don't know if you realize it or not, but we are in Atlanta, and this is the Hollywood of the South, so you ain't got to show us no Hollywood style, baby, because we got our own style. Okay? Okay. So anyway, so Drew is talking to her husband, and they're about to move. And she's on this little scooter thing saying that she really wanted to be able to enjoy the neighborhood. Are they in the old house or are they in the new house? Have you been living in this house and not been able to enjoy the, the old house and not been able to enjoy the neighborhood or is the new house? But then we find out that they're moving. They're still moving. And she asked her husband, well, is it okay if I go on this girl's trip? Because I know, look. Either you're going to be on the show or you're not going to be on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going on a girl's trip, regardless, whatever. If he can leave and go to Florida at a drop of a hat without telling the whole family, I'm pretty much sure it should be okay for you to go to this girl's trip in South Carolina. Speaking of South Carolina, we go to Kenya and Toya. Now, that relationship, I guess that's what Kenya needs right now. She needs a really... She needs a fan right now. She needs somebody that's in her corner on her side. You know, I don't think there's nothing really going on between them two. I think that's just some shit they done made up to make us kind of think. I just think that she, you know, I think that Toya, LaToya really adores Kenya a lot, you know. But they went to lunch and Kenya brought her some panties to the table. Now, I didn't see these panties come out in no bag. No damn box. Like, who goes to lunch and just pulls out panties? Here you go. Something for the trip. Oh, my God. And Toya, her little nasty ass, she sniffing. But I wasn't for sure. Were these brand new panties? Or were these some panties that Kenya brought from her house? Because I remember her saying that that used to be her size. But my daughter was like, no, ma, she bought them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's nasty. I don't know. But I hope she did buy him. So anyway, um, you know, she trying to show off for her little sugar baby and tell her, yeah, when we go to South Carolina, girl, um, I rented us a jet. Everybody else, everybody else gonna be going on a bus, but us, we 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 finna be going on a jet, so we finna be flying high. And then she calls and she tells Drew. That they're flying on the jet. They're going to get there first just so they can check everything out and make sure thing, everything is okay. So Drew is like, okay. But then Kenya sends her a text message. Sends Drew a text message telling her, oh, but don't tell the other girls that um, we're going on the private jets, okay? No, that Kenya missed that. So we go to the Hollywood uh, dinner. Drew hair is really cute, by the way. Like, that was a nice ponytail. Very nice. And her husband, he enjoyed it as well because he said, that's Sasha right there. You know, and he was, you know, he was, he's nice. You know, he's a, he's a charming dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's charming. He shows up when it's time. You know, he does what he's supposed to do when it's time to do what he do. He's just probably like, he probably just get frustrated. You know, we all get frustrated from time to time, especially dealing with, you know, <clears throat> people's and their attitudes and shit like that so anyway the girls show up and the only uh what's her name um she drew invited toya but toya didn't show up and speaking of 
inviting Toya, Toya told Portia and all the other girls about her wig and how it was coming up and how she could see her scat. Like, that's some real messy bullshit. She's going to take a jet. Yes. Her and Latoya is going to take a jet. And here go Candy. Dang, y'all rich now, huh? <laughs> right. Portia, oh my God, her facial expression. Oh, wow. It said it all. Because remember, she's the one who brought up the idea of taking a jet and Kenya took that idea but she just didn't include y'all into it and Kenya explained to us that it would probably be you know it's a lot cheaper for her and Toya to just get on the jet I think she's really trying to impress Toya to let her know what she really got speaking of what she really got we also hear about the uh, divorce that's going on we also hear about this divorce that's going on with her and Mark and Basically, Mark is really being an asshole because now Kenya has to get permission for the baby to go to certain countries and the baby, she has to get permission from Mark for the baby to be in her hair care line. And I'm like, wow, mm. that's a lot. So she's trying to hurry up that situation so she can kind of like move on with her life because that's that's ridiculous. I don't know what he even was dealing with her for in the first place. Like, why were they even together in the first place? It's kind of like, uh-uh, maybe the sex was good in the beginning, uh-uh, but then you, you get to the, that light bulb, the light bulb come on, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that light bulb don't come on when you have sex, then the light bulb come on, you be like, this person is really in this person crazy, for real, like, for real, in real life. So, um, so anyway, so that's that on that on that. So, uh, we're still at dinner, and, you know, everybody feels some kind of way. She didn't even invite Cynthia to the jet now. She invited Toya, but not Cynthia. Cynthia says that she's going to have to be late coming on the trip because she has a prior um, uh, uh, agreement, a prior something that she had to do before she go. So, that's fine. And then, um, Candy talks to Todd. And Todd said, yeah, you know, we went to the um, tuxedo fitting for the wedding. And uh, Mr. Hill was getting fitted for his tux. And, you know, and and, and, and Todd says that he's going to be the MC of the bachelor party. And what he's going to do is have a stripper come down on the pole with a mask on and, and twerk and do that. You know what I'm saying? And um, Candy talking about, yeah, shoot, I don't really gain a lot of weight. Baby, we all have gained weight. It, it, this, this whole pandemic is just a, whew, it's a situation. It's a real situation. And I just pray for every family out there. I pray for every person to to get healed and, 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 and recover and, and just, just stay safe, y'all. Like, remember your steps. You know what I'm saying? Remember what you do. I don't, I don't care what you do. Get your hand sanitizer, wash your hands, and put your mask on. And I really feel like, you know, if in the beginning, the leader that we had, if he would have told us directly, hey, everybody, make sure you wear your mask. It, make that mandated. Now, it's up to you if you don't want to do it. But as for me, I'm going to make sure everybody do it. But uh, anyway, I don't want to get on my little soapbox, but... I feel like if it was mandated in the beginning, like if we were told what to do in the beginning, I don't know if it would still come down to this, but I'm thinking it was sort of be some type of control or people would, you know, be more serious and be more careful about it than what they, you know, what they are. I don't know. I mean, it's just something that happens, but still being precautious about it. You know, I'm here in Atlanta and baby. <laughs> Business is open, okay, okay. So it's up to you, you as an individual, stay safe, put your mask on, you know, wear your hand sanitizer. In your mind, if your first mind tells you to do something, do it. It can be hard because sometimes we forget our, you know, intuition and be like, uh-uh, I don't want to do that, but your intuition tell you. In these situations, in these times, if you were planning on going somewhere, and then in your second mind, your second mind say, I'm, you shouldn't do that. Don't do it. Basically. 
So anyway, uh, so it, uh, we all know that Kenya getting on the jet. Then Kenya will try to sit up there and say that Drew was trying to slip being messy. But you the one who told Drew that you were going on a damn jet. And I think it's fair that everybody else should know that you going on a jet. So I don't see nothing wrong with everybody knowing that you going on a jet. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Okay. <sighs> so, uh, but yeah, I was talking about Todd. And, and so Todd, so um, Candy was saying like, yeah, I need to get stuff together for Cynthia's bachelorette party. And Todd just brought up the thing about, well, maybe you can call some of those strippers to come down. I think it could be like a two for one. Y'all have some strippers come down with some mask on, you know, entertain. So she looked like she made a couple of phone calls and they did a little flashback to when she had the strippers. So, um, that's how that's going to start. So now, you know, we're saying our goodbyes and everybody pulling up to Candy's house and, um, uh, Portia had to call and make arrangements for PJ. You know, I think Dennis is going to have the baby some days. Mom going to have the baby, but she had to make the arrangements. Um, Candy's at the house. She's saying her little goodbyes to little Blaze. She's just a cutie pie, little Blaze. It's so cute. And, 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 and Portia, baby, she's so cute. She looks just like Portia. But some of them saying she looks like Dennis. I don't know, but I saw the baby picture. So she kind of looked like Portia to me. I don't know. So anyway, um, so, you know, hold on now. Portia getting dropped off by Dennis, baby. Let me tell you something. Mm. I think they're going to really just take their time um, in their situation or whatever. I mean, shit, he, 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 he got to be in her life. Like, he got to be in her life. Baby, then. So anyway. So, you know, that's, that's a little messy. So, everybody, Portia gets there earlier than Tanya. Surprisingly, because Tanya, uh, she's been the MP, uh, MPV of being early. So, the bus pulls up. They get inside. Oh, Marlo, oh, my God. She got on the, I, I'm surprised. That, babe, was that a Gucci, was that a Gucci, uh, 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 uh head getting cover up mask? Because, you know, she always wearing designer, but she said, oh, no, this bus got to be wiped down, you know, something for the TV or whatever. So the girls get on the bus. Meanwhile, while the girls are just getting on the bus, Candy and Toya are already at the house. And you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of funny because I'm like, when they went to South Carolina, they was like, oh, my God, there's palm trees. What the fuck you thought it was supposed to be? It's palm. We got palm trees down here in the South. What you think? It's not a water. It's tropical. What's wrong with you? But anyway, they, they living in a nice little house. I like the house, you know, the villa. So Kenya says that the nanny and her baby is living in the villa. So what I'm trying to figure out is at night, she made it her way to say at nighttime, the baby going to be with her. Do y'all believe that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Sure, you're right, Kenya. The baby's going to be with you. So, Kenya and Toya, they go around the house and they assign, assign everyone's room. Which, she assigned Marlo's room and I guess that's the worst room. To me, all the rooms are nice, but, you know, whatever. And so, just so happened, Kenya's room is at the top. Um, What's her name? Oh, God. Toya's room is in the middle. And then Cynthia and everybody else is like downstairs. And she said she didn't want to be around because she's going to have her baby. She didn't want to be around everybody else. But it looks like you're around the people who you want to be around. Not only that, we see a picture of the baby and the other girls who are on the bus sees it. And Portia was upset, baby. You heard that southern accent come out. She's like, uh-uh, we couldn't bring our baby. You know, why didn't she extend that invite to us? You know, so, you know, and, 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 and Portia was feeling some kind of way about that. But Kenya is like, this is my trip, so I'm going to do what I want to do because it's my trip. That's kind of the mentality that she got, which that's not cool, you know. So, uh, the girls on the bus, not only are they on the bus, honey, the bus ain't got no damn AC. And Portia's like, well, I know Kenya and Toya, 
They are. They probably taking a bubble bath. They probably in the bathtub having a good old time while we stuck on this bus and we ain't even got no AC. That's messed up. So, uh, really, this episode, they, it was really kind of cut short. So, they show a preview of the next episode. We see this lady running, and then she fall. So, is this like a mystery, like, dinner type, some shit, what they having? Mm -mm. And then, um, we see that <laughs> Kenya got a crab cake or something, and there's only one. And Tanya's like, you don't do that. If you're going to order food, you order it for everybody. You just don't order crab cakes for yourself. And, 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 and Kenya says, well, hell, I got y'all a big-ass pig, a whole pig on the grill for y'all. Like, they, you know what I'm And Portia's like, baby, I'm vegan. I can't eat the piglet. So this is going to be the climax to the finale where, you know, where we want to be. But this is the build-up part, and we're going to see it. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.